Hi there, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to control a servo through connector 4 using the GPIO lines. Also you're going to learn how to patch the kernel for the servo driver. Ok, first we're going to start by downloading the link down below and extract this file that will contain the guide and actual instructions and everything first step connect how to it will contain the connectors, the definitions of the GPLs, where all the connectors, I mean the pins and the connectors are. Uh, also, contain me a readme file that contains how to use actually all the instructions about the patch. Uh, the actual patch that will patch the kernel with the servo driver. And here you can see actually how the pins are configured. GPL 16 is pin 9, GPL uh, GPL 161 is pin 10 and so on. Um, then is the servo guide that I'm going to walk you through, that we need to walk you through. Um, the commands that will actually set, when you send this command, it will set the servo to neutral. This command will set to 0 degrees. This command will set it to 180 degrees. Um, and this actually, if you don't want to compile, if you have a uh, a mini 2440 with a T35 screen. Uh, this is a compiled kernel with the servo driver built already uh, compiled. Okay, so let's start by actually just following um, up in the hyper terminal. And just actually, first you have to install this um, this application, library, applica whatever you want to call it, but install patch. Okay, I already have it so I don't have to install it. Uh, next thing, if you follow the um, previous tutorial, um, uh, you actually, on the Mini 240, um, I show you how to download the, actually these learner source files and you can extract it in the Mini 240 directory uh, folder um, and this will contain, contain the learner source code. To be able to apply the patch, that's what we're going to do first, you have to be in the um, in the in the Linux uh, um, the kernel directory source code. So we go there. I mean, to Linux. To, okay. And here it contains all the stuff, the setup for the screen that we went already went through and everything. So first uh, to begin with, when you can we what we're gonna do is actually patch the patch the kernel. To patch the kernel, you're gonna type patch, then p1 and uh, and less than and then you're going to put the directory wherever uh, your patch is. Mine is in, actually in the desktop servo, servo that patch. That's where my patch is located right now. So what we're going to do is uh, connect it, um, set up all this uh, command and, uh, and hit enter. And if you did everything correct, it should say this. If you didn't do it correctly, um, you should actually say something else. So what we we'll recommend is actually download um, download this again and extract it and, and patch it because if you, there might be something wrong with your kernel, but just make sure is this this this, um, this is the correct date and file. Just download this actually zip from the. Um, this actually compressed file from the, mini, uh, the from the friendly app download page and extract it and do the same steps again. Um, okay, once actually you patch it, if everything works correctly, it's gonna say uh, it patched these actually files. And what we have to do right now is just uh, cp copy and configure the kernel for the type of screen you have. Uh, that will be that will be minus uh, copy config t35 that config and if you don't have that let me see and I'll set the make menu config and right now we're gonna go to the main menu configuration directory and it's gonna take us there and actually I'm gonna show you um, have the patch applied to the kernel and you're going to see it's a right there so let me zoom that out and okay 
now you're gonna go to device drivers uh, characters devices and you're gonna see right now this is servo friend, uh, servo driver for friendly admin to perform development board this is new and it's check uh, so if it does okay you can just exit and just check the GPIO also exit exit yes save and then make the image and that's pretty much it and we that's how you apply the patch and for to to drive a server with the mini 2440 um, just let's wait and it's gonna start compiling now and wait Okay, after you compile everything and you have the, C, the new C image, what you're going to do is install it on the Mini 2440, same as you did before. Uh, it's actually pretty straightforward. And once you have installed it, um, just put, what you're going to do is just go into your Minicom and since I already had installed it already there, so. What you're gonna do is just I'm sure you're gonna show you if everything went okay. Oh let me reset this. It's not working. Okay. This will be the new image. See image and okay. First go to the system directory class and once you type ls, you're gonna see the server drive is here. So if you have everything did correctly, you'll see server drive. If not, um, just go back and look it up. Okay. So now let's go to the home directory and type actually. Uh, we're gonna use pin nine of a uh, pin nine of the J4 connector, and this is the location of pin nine. It goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and 9 and that's the pin we're going to use right now so if you connect your servo on pin 9 and and let's say we're going to set up to 0 degrees so you're going to type this command this command um, is actually right here um, on the server guide so we're going to type echo 9 100 and, and it goes right here and right now it's in actually the combination to pin 9 okay what happened to drop it okay and if you type servo 1 it sends it to a different location and if you type 2 also if you type 50 it will set it to the center uh, center pin so everything should work correctly okay and then if you type off it should turn the PWM off. Okay, that's pretty much it and hope you enjoyed this tutorial and subscribe and I'll see you soon.